Welcome to day two. We previously took a look at wireframing and prototyping. Today, let's look at Vesely's diagramming features. I'm going to show you three lightning quick demos of how you can visualize processes, collaborate more effectively, and combine diagramming and wireframing to explain your app's logic more easily. You can start from scratch, but let's start with the template library. Let's take a look at some of the diagramming templates, uh, specifically flowcharts. So we've got a generic flowchart and generic user flows. But we also have other ones that describe some more sophisticated scenarios, like this onboarding flow. And so let's actually use this, uh, because I actually use this to design these first three emails that are going out to you as a new user. Now let's say that we need to perhaps remove one and change the user flow to something else. Making a new connection is as simple as dragging it from one box to another. What if we want to have people review this and collaborate on this? So we can go ahead and add a comment. And let's see, let me ask my colleague, where are we storing user information? Go ahead and send that off. And then you can see that my colleague is now reviewing this. And oh, we can see he just sent a reply. And he's just verified that um, this information is stored in a database in the user's table. Another way that we can annotate the diagram is with sticky notes. So let's add a sticky note over here. And we'll say, we'll ask, require a work email address. And this is something that we can bring up in our next group conversation or status meeting. We can also change the color to this uh, just to make it pop or stand out a little bit more. Okay. Now let's say that our team is remote. Uh, now let's say that our team is geographically distributed and we have to meet online. And we need to review some of the information in this diagram. We could, in a video conference, we could always share the screen. But we also have the option of following someone else. So I'm going to follow my colleague Steve as he navigates and talks through some elements of this process flow. So you can see his mouse navigating the application. And as he goes to different parts of the app, my screen is also following him as well. So flowcharts are a great way of visualizing processes. But let's take a look at a different type of diagram, um, impact versus effort. And this is a great way of showing how you can collaborate with others in real time using Visually. So I'm going to go to an impact versus effort matrix that I created with a template. I created this a little while ago. And the team has already taken some steps to uh, identify features in the application that might be high impact and low effort all the way uh, to high impact and high effort, as well as low impact, low effort, low impact, and high effort. Now, the entire team can be looking at this at the same time. And as my colleague Steve is looking at this, he's looking at this feature for pay with Bitcoin, and he disagrees. He thinks that it is definitely high effort, but low impact. So during this meeting, he's actually dragging it down here, and I can see that change in real time. Or, you know, he's going to say adding PayPal as a payment option is low impact and low effort, but he believes that it's definitely high impact and low effort and should be prioritized higher. So this is just an example of some of the real-time collaboration features in Visually uh, that helps you get alignment with your teammates and your peers a lot faster than before. And in this last demo, I want to show you that Visually lets you mash up and combine elements together. So you can use wireframing, and diagramming features together. So let's go back to this AI created wireframe for a CRM application. Now we can actually create and insert diagramming elements to actually make this. So let's add some additional logic to make this more clear to the engineering team of how to actually build this application. So as we create an account, let's check and see, does this email already exist? Now, if it doesn't, let's go ahead and take them to the home screen. So we can take our connector here. Say no. All right. I'll add a connector. And the sign up button to our decision tree. Let's say the email does exist. And let's add a terminator. Let's say have the user click on login. 
So this is just a really simple example, but it shows the underlying logic that will reduce questions by the engineering team and also illustrates the design elements of what that user experience will look like, as well as you know, what are the underlying processes that are supporting that. All right, that's a quick demo of the diagramming features in Visually. Try it out for yourself.